Carl, the reason that I brought you here is to talk to you about something that's on my mind. And I'm just, I'm just gonna put it right out on the table. Where do I start? Um, Linda and Frank are, are very important to me. They're like family. My own family was never like a family. They're horrible people. As a matter of fact, for years, I prayed every night that my father would die. And finally, I realized through a lot of therapy that I was wasting my energy on hating him. So now I just don't care. But you see, you and I are a lot alike. As strange as that may seem, I don't, I don't mean physically or even mentally, really, but, well, emotionally. Actually, the hand that we've been dealt in life, we're different. People see us as, as being different anyway. You're, well, you, you've got your affliction or whatever, and I, well, mine's not as easy to see. I'm just going to say it. I'm gay. Does that surprise you? That I'm gay? You know what gay is, don't you? I don't reckon. <laughs> Homosexual. I like men. Sexual. Not funny, haha, -ha, funny queer. Mm hmm. Well, that's a very offensive way to put it. You shouldn't say that, Carl. You were taught that, weren't you? I've heard it said that way, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it, it, it's hard to live gay. That's the right way to say it. In a small town like this, I've wanted to leave many times, but because I love Linda. Frank and a certain other person, I, they kept me from leaving. Look, anyway, I'm rambling. That If you're going to live in the Wheatley garage, you, you need to know it's not going to be easy. Doyle is a monster. Not just a close-minded redneck, but a monster, a dangerous person. Now, I've told Linda that one day that man is going to hurt her and that boy. Maybe even kill him. I see it in his eyes. I'm very in tune. I'm maybe even psychic. But Doyle is going to make your life hell. There's, there's one more thing. It's none of my business why you were in the state hospital. Everybody has something in their past. Maybe you tried suicide. Maybe you did something terrible. But what I see before me is a gentle, simple man. All I want you to promise me is that you are capable of being around Frank and Linda. You know, you would never hurt either one of them under any circumstances, would you? I wouldn't ever hurt them. Mm. That's what I thought. Look, I, look, I'm sorry if if I've offended you in any way. You seem like a thinker. You know, you, you seem to always be deep in thought. It just, it's, tell me something. What are you thinking right now? Mm. I was thinking of... Um, might want to take me some of these potatoes home with me. Mm. Oh, how about before that? Mm. Let me think. Mm. Before that, I was thinking I could use me another six or eight cans of that potted meat. You got any extra? Mm. 